Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching. In this video I'm going to talk about a feature in Unify called Traffic Rules. Now I know Traffic Rules isn't a new feature, in fact I'm pretty sure you guys are already aware of it and what it does, so I am not going to talk about the feature itself. I am going to talk about my ideas or my use cases where I have found this feature was exactly the right tool for the job. So, if you're a parent to young kids, and for example, you're worried about them using TikTok, you can block just TikTok, just on their devices, and you also can block internet completely, just on their devices, starting certain times of the day. I have prepared a few interesting use cases, and if you're interested, go ahead and join me. Alright guys, so we are at the computer and I've already went ahead and went into my UDM device, my UDM Pro. I went into the network application, into settings and into traffic management. Now, the first use case will be the easiest use case actually, is when you want to, for example, block TikTok all the time on your kids' devices because maybe you're worried about your kids using TikTok. Now, I don't use TikTok, I don't even have a TikTok account. I replace, in this example, TikTok with an app I do use all the time, and that's Amazon. And as you can see on screen right now, before this restriction has been created, I can browse you a, a Amazon freely. There's, there are no restrictions. And this is exactly what we are going to deal with right now. So let's go into rules and create new. Make sure you're on block and app and select the app you want to uh, block in, in, in the real world it will be TikTok but in this example we're going to focus on Amazon target target can be all of your devices it can be your entire VLANs but we are going to focus on certain devices in fact I want to focus on my Galaxy S 22. It will be a good practice to name your devices in Unify. In a way, it will be easier for you to search for them. All right, but we'll touch on that later. So we've selected our app, we've selected our device, and when, when, uh, for schedule, we want to always block it. There are no time-based restrictions. So let's go ahead and create this rule, and we'll give it a second or two and we'll go back to our Amazon app and let's see if it if we can browse Amazon or not. All right, so as you can see, I launch Amazon and absolutely nothing happens. It's blocked. That's exactly the goal we were aiming for. All right, we've covered the first use case, the first use case, sorry, and let's move to our second use case. In this use case, we are looking to block internet completely on our kids devices starting at bedtime let's say 8 p.m and until morning now we're not at 8 p.m right now so instead of 8 p.m we'll start this at 3 p.m but you can choose whatever uh, hours of the day you see fit let's go ahead and create this new restriction create a new rule and i want to block and now it's not an app. Now I'm going to choose internet. Target will be a test computer I have prepared in advance. And schedule, I don't want to choose always. I want to choose every week because I do want to avoid doing this restriction, for example, on Sunday or Saturday or whatever. So let's choose all days except for Sunday. And we're going to start it at 3 p.m. Now that's just because that's my time of the day right now and let's end this restriction I don't know 6 a.m. So let's jump over before I click on add rule to our test device and let's launch a web browser and let's try to go into cnn.com just to make sure internet is working just fine. All right we can we can go into CNN all right, so we've prepared our rule and now it's time to click on add rule. 
Again, let's give it a second or two and let's go back to our test device. And let's now try to launch a web browser. And now let's try to go into CNN.com and absolutely nothing happens. The restriction takes place exactly as we were hoping for. That means this use cases again is covered completely with the traffic rules feature. That's great. All right, let's clear our table. If you want to get rid of uh, rules you have created, you click on manage right here, select the rules and click remove. We have cleared our table and let's move forward to our third use cases, which will be the more, let's say more complex one. Every day between 4 and 6 p.m., let's say it's the time your kids need to sit down and do their homeworks. So during these time frames, you want internet to be completely blocked, except for maybe a certain website, maybe they'll, uh, uh, they'll need to go and upload their, their homework to the school website for their teacher's review, or maybe internet should be blocked, except for Wikipedia, which we'll use in our example. So we'll need to combine two rules in order to achieve this effect. So let's go ahead and start. Again, click on rules and create new. By the way, let's uh, verify again before we start that on our test device, we can once again go into CNN.com Indeed we do, meaning internet is back in its open state. Let's go ahead and start. The first thing that we'll want to do is to make sure we allow a domain name. In our example, it will be wikipedia.org. Let's click on add. Target device, again, will be our test device. And schedule will be all weekdays except Sunday between 4 p.m. or 3 p.m. in our case and let's say 6 p.m. or 5 p.m. That's the first rule but since it's just an allow rule there's actually no restriction whatsoever. We, on top of that we'll need to add a second rule that will be blocking internet on the same device during the same time phrase time frames sorry all right so what we have created right now is similar to firewall rules that are uh, processed from top to bottom will allow going into wikipedia while blocking everything else Let's go to our test, de test device. Let's launch a web browser and let's try to go into wikipedia.org and we'll see that we are able to do so. That's great. But now let's try to go into cnn.com and we shouldn't be able to do it. And indeed, CNN is not getting through. Let's try ESPN.com, nothing. Let's go back to Wikipedia and we can see that any, li any link will click on launches just fine. So guys, this was the third use cases for Unify traffic rules, at least on my book. I hope you guys have enjoyed and it was informative for you and useful for you. If you like this video, please give it a like and join our Facebook groups and uh, uh, of course follow us on Twitter and I hope to see you all on my next video. Bye everyone, take care.